Chem 360 vision. Um, and we've been, again, hinting about this uh, through the, the, the last hour and a half, uh, <laughs> about this being part of, again, the fabric of um, application delivery fabric. So what we're talking about is uh, it is a uh, hosted SaaS service, and it monitors, monitors your AD, uh, your application delivery fabric. So just on this second bullet, we, we are in no way trying to get into the APM, NPM arena, right? We're not looking to boil the ocean uh, with, with, with monitoring or, or the entire breadth of the network around monitoring. We do application delivery, right? That's what we do, that's what we know. We are focused primarily on the application delivery fabric uh, and, and, and all that, you know, again, all the pieces that entails. Um, since we are, you know, the ADC, uh, we're seeing the ingress, egress of that traffic, uh, the other elements that are part of the application, you know, um, delivery, and, and we, we have a pulse on that. Um, so what we're going to be doing, and we'll be talking more in detail in the next couple slides and in, in, in a uh, demo at the end, is proactive monitoring and reporting, right? At Kemp, we understand, again, act, uh, application delivery. We understand the behavior, how these workloads, I mean, these workloads that we um, publish, uh, we not only know ADC, we know these workloads. Right? We, we know how they behave, how they misbehave. So we have just a massive, enormous, overflowing amount of intel about this information. So we can actually be proactive, seeing a behavior, and then take action on that. So if we dig in a little bit more, obviously without uh, Chem360 vision, you know, I, uh, early in my, my career, I, I worked for a, uh, it was an app dev um, company. Uh, I was on the infrastructure side, we did some hosting, and uh, we'd have customers call up, you know, the application's slow. Okay, well, obviously we have to react to that. We can't just, you know, sort of sugar shoulders say too bad. You know, we, you need to react to that. So trying to find why this application's slow, obviously, I think everyone in this room can appreciate. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Right, so you, you, you there's an issue, the customer called about it. There's, well, at first there's an issue, then there's a problem, right? And the customer sees the problem and, and calls you up and says, there's a problem. Uh, you start the discovery, you start calling, you know, these third-party vendors. Maybe it's the, uh, maybe it's, you know, you call the ADC vendor, you, you call the firewall, swi uh, you know, switch, uh, whatever it may be. And then finally, after uh, however much time it takes, uh, you resolve the problem, right? Now, back then, right, when I worked for that, I mean, wouldn't it be great to have Chem360 Vision where the same issue happens, but the problem is never seen by the, by the client or the customer, right? We're gonna detect that this issue occurred, we're gonna analyze the traffic, and we're gonna respond uh, to the customer, say we see this behavior, um, something potentially could happen, maybe it's a performance uh, issue, maybe it's an outage, right? So we're gonna prevent that from even showing its ugly head at that point. So how's it work? Like I said, uh, you know, we've been um, about a decade and a half uh, in, in business. We have, again, those 40,000 deployments. Uh, you know, this knowledge base that we have from our support center is, is overflowing with, with this intel. So wouldn't it be great to box this up, put a ribbon on it, right, uh, full of these thousands of rules, vision rules, to capture this information when it happens at that time, right, and then um, alert on that. Uh, again, today with, with um, this is uh, uh, vision 2.0, uh, we're doing Slack, uh, but we'll be adding other means of communication uh, as well. So what does the infrastructure look like? And, and what are all the, the, the pieces? So like I said, it's a SaaS service. So a customer will go up, uh, they will um, uh, spin up their instance, um, get a URL, and be able to log into their instance with what uh, Michal was mentioning before is their Kemp ID, right? So anyone that's ever used Kemp products with our, our licensing, you have this concept of this Kemp ID where you actually license your products uh, with your email address. Um, and, and, and you'll be using that same Kemp ID to access 
uh, Camp 360 vision. When you uh, log into the uh, instance, uh, the, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a vision agent, right? So what a vision agent is, it's a VM, right? It's a virtual machine, Linux, hardened Linux uh, VM. You just need to provide whether you want to use DHCP or whether or not you want to provide an IP address for it, right? You either choice, that's it. That's all you need to provide. <clears throat> you hit create. A uh, little time goes by, that vision agent is spun up, and then you download it <clears throat> and deploy it into your environment. There's no login, you don't access it, you don't do anything with it. It's a machine, that connection, because <clears throat> it got spun up in your instance, is going to connect back securely to your instance in the cloud. Right? Outbound connection only, no public inbound traffic is required at all. Once your agent is deployed and uh, in the environment, <clears throat> excuse me, within your instance, you can start adding your elements of your application delivery fabric, your ADCs. We have some uh, support for um, applications, Active Directory, uh, Exchange, right? And then once you start adding these, the agent will start pulling information from this. Uh, we'll be doing an SNMP, we'll do syslog, uh, we'll be using the API uh, with some of these uh, applications. We do WMI uh, to pull all this information and start analyzing this uh, in, in um, again, real time. And then in the event um, that there's an issue, again, we're gonna alert via Slack. And um, as part of Slack, we created a, a bot uh, so we have a Kemp bot uh, because you know bots are cool and everyone you know, Slack is cool and so we're using Slack and I'll show you that in the demo of how we're interacting with that bot via Slack. So let's look at uh, again. Just going to throw a couple scenarios out. I think we're doing pretty good on time. Uh, yeah, let's throw a couple scenarios out. Uh, we'll, we can we'll, we'll, the networking team right. Um, makes a change to the network, which is going to cause some suboptimal distribution of traffic on, on our load master. So a change is made to the firewall uh, that uh, there's a, a NAT rule put in place. Um, prior, right, if you go back, right, we're, we're distributing traffic evenly across all these uh, servers in um, our, uh, our real servers in our virtual service. This NAT rule um, Changed it so now uh, we're using a source IP as persistence. Right? This NAT rule now we're seeing all the traffic coming in as one IP address. Right, mm -hmm. so we're doing what we're supposed to do. We're going to send that all to one server. Now this may not be a problem at that time because this server may be or this uh, web application or whatever the workload is uh, is not really seeing that much traffic. So it's nothing has gone down. Right, from a load master perspective, there's all green lights. Everything is everything is healthy, and everything is good. But Obviously, there's, there's a, a potential problem that could happen here. So seeing this uh, with Camp 360, um, we're going to see this unbalanced traffic, say, okay, something is wrong here, um, and we're going to notify the administrator with root cause and, and remediation of, of that. Right? So it's, again, a simple um, scenario, uh, but something that, uh, you know, again, certainly uh, happens, and, and again, can be uh, not uh, go unnoticed. And, and that kind of goes in with this scenario of without uh, vision, right? So that same uh, thing happens, right? And, and then, again, because that, tra that, that website, again, maybe it's seasonal, uh, it's an re uh, online retailer, uh, you know, Cyber, Cyber Thursday, Cyber Monday, uh, whatever it may be, uh, comes around, and now all of a sudden, boom, right? And now they're getting slammed with traffic, and the website's not responding, people can't buy whatever, the, you know, the, the new hottest uh, gift. Um, and uh, you know, again, now, now we have trouble, and now we now we have a lot of explaining to do. So, this happened. Start peeling back. Well, what changed? And in, in, in the uh, the team is, is trying to recover what's going on. You know, again, meanwhile, this happened five months ago and could have been avoided uh, five months ago because, again, this was seen uh, fr from again the the um, load balancing perspective, and and uh, we're alerting on it. Uh, so the um, do, do again another scenario, and we'll, we'll kind of go through a quick demo. Again, this is an external. Uh, I mean, obviously, there's some configuration changes that happen directly on the load master that we're going to flag as well, right? But we're, we're kind of throwing some of these external elements that are part of your application delivery fabric, 
out here and saying, you know, we're, we're again looking at more of the bigger picture of this. So uh, we're, we're, we're uh, publishing Exchange 2016 on, on our Loadmasters. Uh, we're using our Edge Security Pack ESP. This is uh, used for doing that pre-authentication, so we can actually pre-authenticate the users on the Loadmaster before we send that traffic back to Exchange and, and other workloads, obviously. Um, and, and we have a lot of different methods for doing that pre-authentication, but in this ca case, we're doing LDAP. Now, now we'll pick on, you know, again, the DevOps team. So the DevOps team is doing some sort of uh, development and, and they're querying Active Directory. And this is obviously gonna cause some sort of a, a spike on the Active Directory um, domain controller that we're leveraging to do our authentication. Completely disconnected, has nothing to do with anything uh, around our application, but we do have that dependency on that domain controller and therefore there's a possibility we're gonna have some users that can't authenticate. And, and again, that's gonna be a problem. So let's just uh, kind of walk through this demo. It's, it's a pre canics again, I don't trust Wi-Fi. Uh, so here we have our Exchange uh, virtual service. Uh, if we go over here, you'll see we have our single sign-on domain, um, camp demo. Uh, if we go modify, it's using LDAP. And we have this LDAP endpoint that we have set up within our single sign-on domain. If we look at that uh, configuration endpoint, right, we'll see it's looking at this IP address of 192.168.10.52. Um, now that all this is done, we've enabled ESP, right, from uh, our virtual service, and within there, we've set it to use Kemp Demo as our uh, pre-authentication uh, using forms-based. And again, everything is fine, and everyone's connecting, and everything's good. Um, and then along come the uh, DevOps team to to do some uh, you know work, and, th and they're going to go ahead and spike that <coughs> CPU. So. We also don't want to be noisy, right? We, we, I mean, we, we, you know, these, a lot of monitoring, and I'm not, I'm not calling, I mean, I think there's, there's a, a lot of value to, to a lot of those, and I'm, I'm not, certainly not calling anyone out uh, as far as, um, but there's a lot of monitoring solutions that are very noisy, and then a lot of admins will just point it to an inbox and just forget about it, right, and, until something happens, and, and then you're looking at that rear view mirror kind of troubleshooting, right? Um, we, don't want to, we don't want to be that. We're forward-looking, proactive, monitoring, right? So we, we don't want to be that, that kind of uh, noisy solution. So we're going to wait about a minute and a half to make sure that this is not something that's just a, an occasional spike. This is actually a problem. Uh, so that minute and a half goes by, and we're going to go ahead and get that uh, Slack alert. So we get the Slack alert, and within, uh, within here, we're going to just kind of zoom in a little bit. So we see we have some s s performance problem on a domain controller. Right, main controller uh, CPU is high, running about 83%. Um, and again, this domain controller is used by uh, our Exchange uh, application. Um, and then, as I talked about the bot, right, we can use Kempbot uh, to just go ahead and uh, respond back to this uh, alert, uh, open up a support ticket, right, and then our support team will contact you uh, and start working the issue. Or maybe you just you know, want to go, you know, slap DevOps, uh, you know guy in the back of the head and, and, and don't call uh, Kemp support. Either way, um, the idea is that, you know, we're, we're giving it right there, and, you know, again, whether you want to do it via uh, here on my PC or on my phone, it doesn't matter, right? You have that uh, access to our support team uh, right away. So now I've removed the, um, uh, the CPU uh, spike. Uh, we've, we've resolved the problem. And then again, we want to make sure that there's not going to be any kind of like, you know, uh, in a way, flapping or things like that, where, where this is just uh, um, not going to spike up again. And then we're going to get the, uh, the green light basically telling us that everything is good. Uh, the domain controller is back at, at normal levels. So again, this is just another example of, of really the thousands of, of rules and, and behavior um, that we have built that we have built into uh, Camp 360 Vision, and we're constantly adding new rules. Right, this is this is this is a living uh, application, a living service um, that we're constantly adding new, more and more um, elements to and rules to. That sounds very good, and it cuts your cost of customer service and makes your customer happy. Yeah, I mean, uh, absolutely. I mean, because again, when you start when all that that knowledge base that we have, when you start helping customers you know, 20, 20 times, 40 times, 50 times on the same issue. And it's like, you know, if these guys would have known this, you know, and we could proactively tell them, 
it wouldn't have been an issue and they wouldn't have called this when it's out, right? When there's an outage or, or a performance problem saying, you know, and the worst one, right, is, and I, again, I've spent time uh, with UC and exchanges, email slow, you know. You know, I just sometimes just stand there. I don't know what to say, <laughs> you know. And, but having, you know, there could be, uh, you know, again, being able to, to get into that and, and see that before that, that um, client comes up to you and says, you know, email slow or, or again, the web server slow. And it's, it's a lot about performance. It's, it's a lot about outages, right? And we're, we're, gonna, we're recovering both of them uh, prior to those events even occurring.